Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today, we're talking seven-man slide protection. Deep dive, X's and O's, fire it up. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. You dig this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, get the notifications, let you know when we go live, when we put out new content, helps the channel grow. Thank you so much for the support. Then a bunch of different ways to support the channel. You know them, get over there, make it happen. You've been thinking about it, pull the trigger, Patreon, actually don't pull the trigger, terrible analogy. Make it happen if you want to. Patreon uh, course in the description below. Whoa, look at that thing went right up in my face. I like it. All right, we're diving into this thing. Seven man slide protection, turn protection, whatever you want to call it. We've got seven people protecting the quarterback and we are sliding to someone. What does that mean? Well, I know I've told this story many times in this channel, but I'll tell it again right here in a condensed version. I learned NFL pass protection from the NFL, uh, from the New Orleans Saints O-line coach when I was there at the time, Jack Henry. It was a long time pro coach did a great job with me basically every hour we spent an hour going over one specific protection that we had throughout the course of the year built up a catalog of knowledge of knowing exactly what we wanted to do this was one of my favorites this was one of mike mccarthy who was the offense coordinator at the time in new orleans one of his favorite calls one of my favorite ones as a quarterback so i'm excited for this one it's really a catch-all but there's a lot of detail a lot of nuance but the essence let's talk essence we have five offensive linemen. We have two backs or back types. Can be a tight end, sniffer, whatever. There's two people usually in the backfield. So we've got seven people protecting. The offensive line is sliding normally weak. We'll just say sliding weak, but it could definitely be strong just as well. We're going to say outside linebacker to the weak side. They are responsible for. So what is what does that mean? Depending on the front, We'll just assume that it's an even front most times, but even if it was an odd front, it's nothing that crazy. You just go to two linebackers to the weak side. Even front, will linebacker, that's the slide. Now, it doesn't change anything with the declaration. It's still a mic declaration. And what that means is someone's going to identify the mic. The line is going to go to the first outside linebacker away from that. Now, sometimes they'll point the will and call it a will declaration, but you can just as easily point the mic so don't get it twisted with it making a different declaration the offensive line the five offensive linemen are blocking the four bigs and the will or if it's an odd front the three bigs and the two weak side linebackers whatever you call them so that's the essence of it now i'm not going too fast for you keep up you can handle this we've got two backs in the backfield right well one of them we'll call the fullback could easily nowadays be called the sniffer. The first one, the bigger one, not the tailback. We're going to put them on the mic. So the middle of the three linebacker types. And then we're going to put the tailback on the Sam, the strong side outside linebacker. Now we could just as easily flip that. Not very complicated. I know. Very tough. I know a lot of uh, coaches love alliteration. So we're going to go Fox to fullback in the two hole. And if we wanted to switch it, guess what it would be? H2, Hound 2. Very complicated. Okay? You keeping up? We got this. So, offensive line, sliding to the will. Fullback, Mike. Halfback, tailback, Sam. We could switch the back responsibilities. Normally, this is going to be off a lead draw action. What the hell is that? That is, we're going to take the snap from under center. We're going to take our normal draw. Go to handoff. Nope, we're not going to hand it off. A little play action. Five steps. Now, hold up. Now, you don't have to do five steps. Sometimes it can be seven. Very complicated. You would usually tag a word. Let's just say deep, mid, whatever. Any word to tell the offensive line we're now going to be at about 10 yards deep as opposed to eight yards deep. Now, the other thing about this is it doesn't have to be lead draw action. It can just as easily be ISO. You know what changes? Nada. Except no draw action. Now it's just turn, fake the ISO. I prefer the draw. thought it was smooth, clean. We'll show some video at the end. 
of uh, it looking pretty good. So that's it. That's the essence of it. Now, what happens if they do this? What happens if they do that? All right, let's walk through it. We've talked through it a handful of times. We're sliding to the will. All right, well, we got two options if we get hit with four week, the dreaded four week. What if, what if, all the people that hate the what if guys, I love the what if questions. What if we get four week? Two, two answers. We can either change the declaration, make the will to Mike. Let's walk that back so we don't get confused. We still got the mic as the mic, as the declaration. The offensive line is sliding to the will. Now, what if we make the will the mic? Who would the line be sliding to? Four week. You got it. Nice job. Very smooth. So that's one option. A lot of communication there. We got got a, six people moving around. The fullback, everybody, the tailback has to now change who they're going to. Everybody kicks over. A lot of moving parts. What's easier? The old West Coast Tom call. Turn around to the tailback. Tom, Tom, Tom. Old Tommy Rathman from the 49er days. All the tailback does now is instead of blocking the Sam, he goes back to the four week and we're rolling. Two person communication versus eight person communication. I prefer the two, but many teams have both. So four week, four strong. What do you want to do? We could technically keep the tight end in have him slow release out and potentially block four week. we got options. We could also just live with it and roll the dice. We could also get what's in the West Coast world. It's called a base call, where we're now, instead of jokering, changing the direct declaration from the mic to the will, now we're going to change the declaration from the mic to the Sam. Got that there? So then the quarterback would be responsible for the will. Now that was one was a lot. We'll look at some drawings, have some fun with it. But the essence, let's go back to essence. Seven man slide protection. Offensive line, slide into the will. Fullback, Mike. Tailback, Sam. Usually a little draw fake, smooth, five step action. Really popular. Now, the details. This is what I really like. Why would you do this? What's the essence of it? First and 10, maybe you're a big lead draw team, maybe you're a big ISO team, second and long. Well, that's one way to do it. It's smoothed out, a nice way to get three-man combination routes out there. Tight ends, two receivers usually, 21 personnel, 20 personnel, 12 personnel, whatever. But the thing that I really like about it is to me, it puts, normally you would slide to where you would want the help. So if they've got a beast on defense, we want to slide into that guy so that potentially we have three over two usually in a big, even front world. Well, with this protection, what I'm used to calling Fox two, F two, whatever, wherever the fullback is on the mic and the tailback is on the Sam, I want to slide away from their beast. And if their beast is a defensive tackle, it's the best because we essentially get bookends on that guy. So just imagine we're in Fox two, and I'll show you some drawings of it, and we'll show some film at the end. We're in Fox 2, 2 and over front. So they've got a 3 technique sitting on our guard. Well, now we get, now the mic's not coming, and the Sam's not blitzing either. So now we get the fullback in the A gap, the tailback in the B gap, and we've got bookends on both sides of that 3 technique. So it's essentially a way to cheat to get a triple team. Now, this is really where you start getting into the details, the nuance of exactly how you get how you have great pass pro. Because we absolutely, normally, most people would say you want to slide in to help your offensive lineman. Well, in this reality, you want to slide away from that because you want to get those bookends, basically two chips from the back on that defensive tackle, depending on where the, what that technique is. But it's a really easy way. I remember doing it against Warren Sapp a bunch when we played them twice a year in the, with the Saints that we would always want to kind of have this action going at SAP so that we could have that bookend of being able to put them back on the guard with two sides. And we'll see some good footage of a number of different shots of this. So there again, just a little different detail. You know, if you don't want, if you always get tired of sliding into kind of a, a big time game wrecker, this is a nice change up to be able to slide away from a game wrecker, but get a triple team. And so, Really cool way to do it. I really like it for a bunch of different reasons. Let's talk, what would you possibly run? Let's talk install here. So we've talked about how 
to do it. Now let's talk, what would you possibly do with it? So in the West Coast world, we are running square outs, we're running double goes, we're running stutter goes, we're running glances, we're running comebacks, we're running shakes, we're running basically anything you can think of that's a one-on-one -on -one route on the perimeter. We can roll with this protection. Great seven-man, little play action, smooth, consistent, really good, really simple, easy way to do it get our one-on-ones on the perimeter is the way that I think of it. All right, so example time here. Old West Coast staple, green right, Fox 2 double go. Love it. Now we talked about this a bunch of different ways. We've got this five-man protection right here. Fullback coming up. He's got the mic. We've got the tailback. Sam, quickly go through here. As far as declaration, we declare the mic. The line is sliding to the will. The slide starts the first uncovered lineman, that first uncovered lineman to the play side. So two tells us that we're going to the right. That's the F2. The uncovered lineman starts the slide. So basically these four offensive linemen are sliding for these four defenders. There it is, beautiful. The back, the full back right here, he's got the mic. The tailback has the Sam. Boom, there it is. Just that simple. Now, the thing that I haven't talked about yet that I love also are the check downs. My goodness, one of my favorite plays that I'm going to do a video on soon Fox 2, XY hook, even better check downs. But this, just the staple normal check downs, it happens right in front of your face. Smooth, easy, clean. Here we go. We see the Joker call. I have no idea what the pink is. Actually, I do remember the pink. The pink is if the Sam were to come up here. I want to say this is true. If the Sam were to come up here and get into the feet of the defensive lineman, the fullback would come up, take the first one, the uh, tailback or the H would come up, and now he's got the mic. So really the fullback just has the first one if they declare. With the, That's what the pink call was. I bet a lot that that's right. Either way, let's not overcomplicate it. Lines going to the will. Fullback's going to the mic. Tailback's going to the Sam. Seven man protection, you see the little play fake. My my notes from about 20 years ago, five hitch, cut it down, because we had a bunch of speedsters out there. Throw it right down the line, give your guy a chance. It's a middle field read. You can alert it versus middle field open, there it is. Close, you're gonna get the in or the basic. They can stop, hunt it up right there. That's it, that's a wrap. Fox two double go, one of my favorite plays for a long time. Okay, that's the West Coast world, Fox two double go, F. H, whatever, hound two. Now, how did they do it in the digit system? Let's talk digit. Let's talk act six, seven. Act six and seven was the same as Fox two. Now, if you change it to act four and five, this is getting crazy now, slow down. Act four and five, that would be hound two or H two. The backs just switch responsibility. Nothing for the line changes. The line's got it the best. Nothing for the line changes. They have the exact same responsibilities. This is a totally different offense, running the exact same protection, basically manufacturing it the exact same way, just calling it a different three-letter word. The NFL. We can handle this. We can do this. I'm telling you. We're learning offense. I like it a lot. I don't know. It looks pretty similar. Seven-man slide protection. Fake and lead draw. Slide into the will. Fullback's got the mic. Tailback's got the Sam. I like it. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. How about one more? Just to make sure y'all know that I didn't invent this and that people run it all over the place at every level, and you probably should too. All right, let's do a little Minnesota Vikings back in the day. Let's get a little Tyson here. Maybe complicate these things just a little bit. I'm not going to read this. Uh, I think I've done a decent job explaining it, but lots of other teams run this. This is just another example. Look what they called it, hound. Told you it was coming. Either way, doesn't matter if it's F, hound, fox, whatever. Seven man, slide into the will. Fullback's got the mic. Tailback's usually got the Sam. Let's roll. Not quite sure about the Vikings quality drawings here, but you still get the message. We are sliding to the will. The triangles have the triangles. Let's get it going. Six fronts. This feels like Super Tecmo Bowl but I like it. In fact, I am ready for some film. All right, now let's see this thing in action. Ooh, look at this. We got 11 personnel. We got a little yo-yo. Oh, 
There it is. Y'all, I'm pretty excited about this. Not excited about the throw. What do we get? Do we get double go? Right out the gate? My favorite? There it is. Might think about working the basic there. But we're not here to talk about the passing game. We are here to talk pass pro. See the rotation? A little three week. Had a chance for the basic. All right, you know we're going to spend some time on the back end here. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's watch it one time. Just see the action from the quarterback. We're going to fake that lead draw. A little offhand. If you like it, it can come off the ball. There it is. Clean. Looks a little funky with the 80s back there, but you get the gist of it. Again. Nice, clean, easy action. Usually five and a hitch. Get it out of your hand. Now let's talk pass pro. Why we're really here. Okay, so again, will declaration. Well, this one's a little bit complicated. Technically, this is the mic. This is the Sam to me. The nickel's off the screen out here. Now, if you're the defense, you could make the argument that it's the opposite. I get it, doesn't matter. We're gonna go, we're gonna say the nickel's off the screen. We're gonna say that this is the mic. We're gonna say that this is the Sam. So technically, the offensive line is sliding all the way out here. Now, in reality, many guys who play in the league will see this rocker, this guy coming down, and they'll basically push this thing all the way in. So this is essentially a what we call it a base call by formation. Either way, the offensive line three here, they're going to take the first three. Now, because this nickel is so detached, it almost ends up being 44. But just for the sake of argument here, let's say that they go are going all the way out to the nickel. So they're taking those three right there. Whoop. With these three. Technically, 84 is coming back here to the mic. Technically, 88 is taken by the Sam. Now, again, you can watch the back how it actually happens in real life. Again, this is why football isn't on a whiteboard. Because the nickel is so detached, the offensive line, in essence, is going right here. To those three, 84 is coming up. Is going to take the first one that shows. Again, that pink call. Technically, the back would be on the next one. But the essence of it here, you can see the potential for a triple team here. 84 coming here. 88, I think, ends up taking the A gap, but can just as easily take the B gap if he has to. And we can see all those moving parts here. Well, let's pay attention to 84, the first one. There it is. You can see him step up. He's going to take that first linebacker. You can see 88's head is on a swivel. He looks like he's going backside to front side. There's that little draw action. There it is. Never in history ball. Let's do it again. Same game. This is 20, what is it? 2018? First game of the season, I think. I'm getting a little Fox 2 week. Now, uh, people call it different things, but it's the exact same thing. Seven man slide protection weak. You can see the draw action. From gun, little pistol. Oh, we get the triple team here and we get the check down. My goodness. Love it so much. This actually might be a. Uh, I don't think it's X, Y hook, but it's that beautiful check down. Man, I love it. So easy. I really felt like a pro the first time I kind of like mastered this play, this check down. Now we should all be able to know what's going on with the slide here. 37 is the will or the outside linebacker away from the action. If you don't, if you want to get fancy and nitpicky about who's the who in the zoo. So the line is going all the way out to 37, barely off the screen. See that long turn, uncovered lineman is the center. He's going way out there. Technically, 84 has got 44. Neither of the linebackers come. So what do we get? We get that triple team on the defensive tackle. He's getting us issues. Watch this. This is it. This is how you get triple teams. This is how you get double teams. Boom. Back on triple. Got no chance. And he gets the check down. So he gets a perfect, they're turning the Mac here. No, look at that flick. Look at the arm angle from the quarterback. Man, all his cleats in the ground, just a little side slot. So good. One more time, 
just really paying attention to the backs here. Because the back, really this is just slide protection. Half slide protection, whatever you want to call it. Turn protection for the line. But the backs make this thing just a little bit different. And this is the details. This is the nuance. Great job by 84 and the back. 84 specifically fighting his way through, getting a piece of the defensive tackle, and getting a big, big chunk on a check down for a first down. Love it. This is the following week, week two. Early in the game, just a massive drop from Adams. But the action here, here it is. Should look pretty familiar. They're going to the outside linebacker away from the action, from the Fox 2. We'll draw it up from the back end here. Let it play one time. Big in. Boop. Volleyball set. Two-hand knockdown. From the back here, though, this thing is a thing of beauty. Besides the fact that Aaron's got to line him up. Now, who is the will? So we could have a little pop-up quiz on the video. Who is the will? Or who is the linebacker that they're sliding to? Don't get all O-line on me as far as identifying the correct people because technically this is the tight end. So technically this is probably the Sam. I get it. Doesn't matter. There's three linebacker types. We're going this way with the action. The offensive line is sliding to who? 22. Good answer. So, starts with the first uncovered lineman to the play side. That is this gentleman, 64. So, we got four going for these four. Whoop. Love it. 84. Right here to the mic. 30. Right here to the Sam. There it is. Now, again, watch, pay attention to the checkdowns, too. Should get through. Right here, through, right here, and then we got this big in coming in behind it. I'm guessing it was Dagger. Don't care, though, because we're talking pass pro. There it is. He tries to get through for that little double team. Look at the check downs. Love it. Action. Again, Aaron likes the offhand. Looks good, smooth. Whomp. Woo. Get you some Fox 2 dagger. Oh, don't see that very often. All right, last one. Oh, oh. Okay, let's talk a little side view, even though it's blasphemy when we're talking pass pro. I only want to see the end zone, but we need to see this. So, who's the will? Well, you could make the argument without knowing, you know, I don't know who this personnel is. But I'm going to guess that this is the Sam. Because this guy looks like a safety type to me. We're going to go. He's coming down. That's this. This is the free safety. This is the strong safety. This is the nickel Sam. Star, whatever you want to call it. Don't care. Mike. Will. Well, I just gave it away. Technically, they're going to the Will. Okay, so free safety inserts. Uh-oh, what if four week, the dreaded what if four week. What do we do? We could, in the West Coast world, Joker or Tom this sucker. Either way, the line needs to go there or get old Tom Rathman up there to blunt this sucker. Watch and enjoy. This is how it's done. Boop, just that easy. Just that easy. We got a little go down here to the bottom, a little basic and a little hinge. Doesn't get better than that. Boom. Love it. You can see the check down coming out. Ooh, make a miss. Now from the back end, I get excited when we pick up four week here. Open 84 line up again. The nickel Sam is off the screen to the right. The line. There you go. They're getting a four-man slide to the will. Tailback, go save us. There it is. Oh. Got to bring your feet with you. Oh, that's a collision. Nice job by 84 getting out. Even better job by Aaron getting the ball out of his hands. Ripping it. 
So many good things. All right, that's a wrap. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Seven man slide protection, little Fox 2. So easy, so smooth. Do it every single stop in the league. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out to the end, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.